Let's learn how to write to record labels. Okay, now to start, you're going to need a few things um, very easily accessible, and they would be things like your mastered WAV file, and also in some instances, a MP3 version of your file. Um, depending on the record label list you've generated, most, I would say probably 80% of record labels um, accept a private SoundCloud link, uh, whereas others have their own individual online portal where you have to upload an MP3 file. So that's why you sometimes need an MP3. Most of the time you need a WAV file, okay? All you do, so you can see on the side of my, I've just got my uh, window here sort of sized up appropriately. I can just go click and drag and that imports my track into um, SoundCloud. And you can see here, I've named my file. My WAV file is named like this, give up your girl dash four and then blank. So give up your girl, that's the title of my song. And then four, this is gonna be the record label name. So for now, we're just gonna add the number one. Uh, we are going to make it private. So you must make this link private and then flick over to permissions and make sure that the record label is able to download your file. If they think it's awesome, they're gonna to wanna to download your file. Now, you can just hit save and that's going to keep doing that. Now you can add another one. We're gonna make number two. Private, permissions, enable, Save, and you are going to do that a bunch of times. Let's say you are going to pitch to 10 record labels. You need to do this all the way up to number 10, for example, and make it private and make it downloadable. Now, what you may or may not have noticed is every time you drag a new one in, so let's drag in up to 20 files, okay? 20 files made private, made accessible for download, you can see that by numbering this, this ending here, number 20, it's actually made all these unique links. So give up yo girl four, and then like record label number 20, okay? We're gonna save all this, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this very shortly, but your SoundCloud profile should eventually look something like this. You have a whole bunch of tracks in there, uh, ready to go, but they will all be unnamed. You've actually caught me halfway through this process guys So you can see I still have some numbers left, but as we go down my list I, I've already been pitching to record labels Now the reason and the cool thing for sending individual links to record labels is you can tell if they've listened to it or not So for example, I can see here that no face records has actually listened to my demo They didn't get back to me. So maybe they didn't like it, but you can see uh, Magic Music Squad, Future House Cloud, they've all listened to my track. A few haven't yet, which is fine, that's gonna happen. Get down here, Enesis Records has, um, Hexagon's listened to it, uh, and that's about it so far. Here is my email template that I use for sending out all my demos, okay? It's very, very simple. What I actually do is I will copy and paste this into a new email and send it off to specific record labels um, or however they uh, accept their submissions, okay? It's a very, very simple um, email and it's broken into some very basic categories. So you have at the top um, the email heading, so you copy and paste that into an email. Then you just have a casual greeting like, hey team, or hello team. Uh, my name is Steve Mark, so a bit of an introduction about yourself. Um, and then something about the track. It's also really cool when you're sending to record labels, you want to prove to them that you are driven and that you are, you know, you're hungry for success because they want to support artists that are hungry for success. Um, also, if your track is a collaboration, make sure you mention that collaborative artist and show them some love, maybe why you started working with them in the first place. Um, and then of course you attach your private link and then you have a thank you and list your socials how you see appropriate. A huge welcome to all my new subscribers, guys. If you're not subscribed, smash the button. I'm trying to get to 600 subs by the end of 2021. With your help, I can achieve that. Also, I have a Discord community. So all you guys watching, instead of... 
I also have a Discord server, so you guys can join, it's free to join. We spend um, a lot of time on there just talking about music production. So it's like a live chat, all different um, areas. You can promote your own music, you can review other people's music. It's super fun, it's super free, and you should totally join. Okay, so we have our email template, we have our SoundCloud template, we now have all our tracks uploaded to SoundCloud. It's now time to start customizing each individual SoundCloud upload for each record label. Now you can see I've already started uh, with a few. Uh, we're gonna edit this one and I'm actually gonna send it now to a record label. The record label is called Kiwi Stage. Uh, we need to update this private link here, very important, for Kiwi Stage. And then I'm going to copy and paste the record label into my template down here, Kiwi Stage, double checking that it's private, double checking that they can download. We're going to hit save. Perfect, that is done. Now I'm going to grab my email template and drop it into a new email. And here we go. So that's my template inside the email. I'm now gonna customize my template master demo for Kiwi Stage. I'm going to remove that from the body of the email, paste that into the subject of the email. I'm now gonna copy the record label and paste it into all the gaps in our template. Now the final gap to fill up is our private link. Back to SoundCloud, we grab the custom song for that specific email, we click share, we want to copy that private link and we want to drop it back in our email like so. That is now ready to go to Kiwi stage once I put their email in. So I'm going to grab their email address from my Excel spreadsheet that we created in video number one. And that is it, my friends. We are sending this off, and that is done. Boom. So guys, awesome. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you have a better way to submit to record labels. If you have a better way, let us all know in the comments. Um, if you think that there's um, an area that I could improve on, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions for any stage in this process, please add that to the comments as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I wonder what video I can do next for you guys.